it's recently come to my attention that a lot of YouTubers have been making content around hotels. I survived the robot hotel. I stayed in the world's only seven star hotel. I survived one dollar versus one hundred thousand dollar hotel. <laughs> Now, unfortunately, I don't have $100,000 to spend on this video. But what I do have is something even better. I have the sheer nerve to stay overnight at the world's quirkiest hotels. Now, with all that being said, you may be asking yourself, Dan, where in the world is the first quirkiest hotel? Liverpool. Here I am. <laughs> Stop that. I have just put my Uber to the first hotel. My guy Lovemore is picking me up any second now. I'm intrigued to see if that's his real name. Anyhow, this first hotel is very quirky. Is your name Lovemore? That's correct. Cool, nice to meet you, bro. Today I'm visiting a floating hotel. A floating hotel? Yeah, a floating hotel. What is this? It's, uh, it's on the water. I don't know how it got there. It just did. In Liverpool? Yeah, in Liverpool. Oh, well, that, that's brilliant, that. Boom. And just like that, I am outside the first hotel. Did you like the transition? I did it just for you, so hopefully you don't get bored and click off. You know, need to keep the video moving. Anyway, I have just acquired the key to our first hotel. It's that one there. I'm back. I promise that wasn't edited. I'm just that good. This hotel slash boat is located on the Liverpool dock. Yes, that's right. It's literally a boat that has been converted into a hotel. Talk about quirky. Alrighty, here goes nothing. By the way, if you ever want to rob this place, the password is 254. Oh, oh, we're in, we're in. Oh, ho, ho. Hello. Pause. Before we explore the first quirky hotel together, let me really quickly explain to you guys the goal of this video. I want to travel to some of the quirkiest hotels I can find to experience something new. Once I've spent the night at each hotel, I'll be leaving a one word review that will attempt to summarize my entire experience. Okay, unpause. Okay, these are both closed. Big reveal time. Oh. What's your luck at this? Oh, there's another mirror. God, this place is full of mirrors. We got two blue couches. Hello. 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 I, I don't know why I'm doing that. This table is where I can have my meetings, where I discuss taking over the world. We've also got a little kitchen going on here. And, oh, a microwave. We love being cinematic. Okay, as of so far. Oh, I'm very impressed. I still need to explore that room yet. Oh, a bedroom. Hello. Again, I've never seen so many mirrors in one hotel. Guessing this is the bathroom? It is, it is. Oh, not a get oh, Okay, I guess it's a bathroom. There has to be a mirror, fair enough. Oh, do, do. oh that's bright. Don't mind me, guys. I'm just doing what a man has to do. Jeez, I'm only joking. I can't believe he was about to watch that. I I'm disappointed. There's also a downstairs, so we're going to explore right now. Oh, that's me being cinematic again. I'm really trying my best here. <sighs> it smells like rooms. We got a room here. One, two, three beds, three beds. And another... Oh, not another. Oh, I feel like the hotel is mocking me now. Why do you need two mirrors so close to each other? That's pretty quirky. Let's turn it on. Oh, all right, it's broken. Whoa, I like it. Another bathroom. I've literally just realized there is four rooms in the downstairs. That's one. This is two. That is room number three. And this is room number four. I feel spoiled for choice. I really do. Turning off the lights, being a responsible adult. Oh, it's another mirror. Who would have guessed? I have just located a hidden passageway. Oh, no way. <laughs> oh, my days. Right, so far, that's six rooms in this boat. Oh, this is lovely. This is lovely. I think I might sleep here tonight. I've just had a quick look in here. It is so cool. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Look, look, look. There's a cinema room. <laughs> there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cushions. Do you not understand the brilliance? The cinema room is certainly going to come in handy because tonight I'm going to have a movie night. <clears throat> Speaking of movies, be sure to like this movie right now for 10 years. Good luck. And yes, I did just call this video a movie. See me. Be sure to hit the like button right now because the hotels only get crazier from here on out. Now I'm on the front of the ship. I don't know what to call it. Do I call it a ship or a hotel? I don't know. I like the view. My name is Captain Jack Sparrow. It doesn't move. Wow, so cinematic.
So far I was having a fun time on my first quirky hotel, but since I was in Liverpool after all, I thought it'd be a good idea to venture into the city. First thing that caught my eye was this here cat cafe. Now, I'd never been inside of one of these before, but would you look at this? So cute. Next up, I went to more of a traditional cafe to get myself a cafe. <laughs> that sounded much better in my head. Okay, I drank my double espresso. Then it was time for pizza. I went to the best pizza place in Liverpool to meet up with one of my old friends for a bite to eat. Got myself a pepperoni pizza and it was absolutely delicious. Next, this magician pulled out his playing cards and I had to practice a new trick I'd been working on to the waitress. She genuinely couldn't believe her eyes. That's fine. How does that happen? Who knows? Well, it's safe to say the new magic trick worked pretty well, but now it was time to get back down to business. Because the whole reason I'd left the hotel in the first place was because I needed my essential supplies for movie night. I think I've got to treat myself for this movie night. I'm such a greedy bugger. I don't know if I've told you guys yet, uh, but the nickname for this boat is the barge. But now I've got the snacks. It looks like there's only one thing left to do. It's time for my movie night. I went into my cozy little cinema room, dumped the snacks, and although the intention was to watch some movies, <laughs> I remembered in this moment that movies bore me. So uh, instead, I just decided to watch some of my favorite YouTube videos for a little bit of inspiration. After spending two hours of my life watching Mr. Beast, I had decided to make myself a beast coffee. <laughs> that sounded better in my head. Efficiency. My coffee ended up looking like Mars, and then I decided to venture to the front of the ship to check out the views. What views are you talking about, Dan? <laughs> that view. This one right there. It honestly looked like something out of a film. A, a low-budget feature film, but, but still a film, you know? Oh, that sound gives me anxiety. It is time for me to have shower and brush teeth. Okay, okay. I'm heading to the next hotel in about an hour, but before we must give our review on the Barge Boat Hotel. Ordinarily, when people leave their reviews, they have to give a massive paragraph, but I want to keep it simple by summarizing each hotel experience with just one word. And the word to summarize our first quirky hotel is, wait for it, big. This place was a lot huger than I anticipated, and it was a lot of fun. I am going to miss this place, but without further ado, it is time to go to the next hotel. And just like that, my dear viewers, we're leaving the barge, and we are on to the next one. And the next one was also in Liverpool. We are here at the next quirky hotel. This one's name is the Art House. The room I am staying in has an insane kicker, so let's get up there. Talk about a quirky door, this is ridiculous. Let the madness begin. You've got to be kidding me. The size of this room, <laughs> And this was the big kicker I was talking about. That's right, this room literally comes equipped with a pool. I'll be getting in there later. If you thought there was only one pool, you are wrong because there is another pool here. Also our own mini bar. Bedroom with three beds. I'm sorry about the mess. <laughs> Quirky. A bathroom with two showers. That's another bedroom with four beds. We've got another bedroom here. A final one here. This is just insane. Okay, I don't want to waste your time or my time, so it's time to get in the pool. Let's do this. Whoa. As my pool began to fill, I took a moment to appreciate my balcony view, and then I used my skills to make an incredible drink. I'm a man of many talents. <laughs> the hotel very graciously sent someone a little bit more equipped for the job, and if that's not a masterpiece, I don't know what is. And I'm not talking about the drink. <laughs> Wait, can I say that? Oh, whatever, I'll keep it in. What did I do to get this lucky? Watch that drink. That was good editing. <laughs> I had a sip of my drink, turned on the TV, had another sip and some chocolate. Then I played hide and seek with this handsome man in the mirror. <laughs> and then I had to call my mum to make her jealous. Are you jealous? After my swim, it was time to head into the city again, this time for a delicious burger, followed by next door, who were playing some incredible live music. I, I whipped out the playing cards again, as a magician does, and then what the heck? I literally bumped into my brother. Do we look the same? Do we look the same? I then decided to perform some new magic tricks I've been working on to these two lovely ladies. I guess some things never change. From this moment onwards, I have no more footage of the evening because I went back to the hotel and fell asleep. So uh, let's cut to the very next day. It is now the next day and I have to leave this hotel in 20 minutes, which I'm not happy about. Staying in this room has literally made me feel like a billionaire. 
<laughs> I used the money gun emphasis on the billionaire. But now it is time to leave my one word review. Well, my friends, a hotel room that has a pool inside. I mean, enough said. And dad, what word are you using for your review is what I imagine you are saying at home. Well, my experience in this hotel has gone swimmingly. So I guess that's the word I'll be using. Swimmingly. That word makes no sense out of context, but uh, that's not my problem. Okay, would you believe me if I told you that to get to the next hotel, we are actually going via portal. What do I mean by that? I'll show you. <clears throat> this is the magic portal that Mr. Harry Potter gave me himself. And it says for the magic word, all I've got to do is snap and say the word quirky and hopefully the portal should appear. Well, here goes nothing, I guess. <laughs> quirky. Oh, -ho -ho! would you look at that? Well, I have never done this before, uh, so please wish me luck. Woo, here we go. Okay, I guess that makes sense. It says that the portal will close after 15 seconds, so I just gotta go for it. Let's try again. Quirky. Here goes nothing. Well, boy, you gotta love After Effects. My feet are freezing. Invisible cameraman, pass me my shoes, please. Okay. The next quirky hotel that we have landed at is the one behind me, and it's called the Dakota. And it's one of the only five-star hotels in Manchester. Oh, oh, I'm feeling sick. In Manchester. Oh. It says in fine print that the portal will cause nausea. Makes sense. Okay, before we explore the hotel together, <laughs> I've got to change into something a little bit more appropriate. So, I'll see you in a sec. I walked towards the Dakota and was immediately impressed by the whole layout of this place. I mean, they even had this cute little doggy sculpture thingy in the reception. What the heck? Thank you, brother. Hey, oh. Cheers, my guy. <laughs> Room 303. Let's see what we're working with. Wait, what? I mean, this is a nice room and all, but why on earth is this place black and white? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Editing. <laughs> Okay, we got a nice king size bed and we've got another, yes, another, we're not doing that again, okay? I have matured as a person since being on the boat. We got a big boy TV right there. These things look like they'd be better in a museum, not a hotel. It actually doesn't feel legal to be looking at these. It feels cryptic. Okay, bathroom tour. Wow, I like it. Okay, this is by far the nicest bathroom we've explored in this video. There's a little goodie bag here. So I'm assuming this is D for Dakota, but I'm gonna take it as D for Dan. <laughs> well, this bathroom is definitely very nice, and it certainly is very quirky. <laughs> oh, I forgot all about this thing. It's teleported me outside of my room. I cannot have this happen again. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Mr. Potter's not going to be happy with me. I've just realised that I left my key inside the hotel room. Oh, hello, sir. I'm really sorry. I've just realised I've left my key in 303. Okay. That rhymes. <laughs> sorry. And what's the name, please? Uh, Dan Rhodes. Sorry about that. That's okay. Portals, you know. <laughs> okay, we should be back in business. And there's the key where I left it. <laughs> After retrieving my key, I decided to go for a number two, as you can see, in room 303, and then went downstairs to this really cool cigar lounge. After relaxing in the cigar lounge for a good few hours, I got kind of bored, and that's when I realised that I needed some companionship. In came Emily. She was so excited that I invited her out, so much so that she even said, I love you so much, Dan, you're my favourite. I genuinely couldn't believe my luck, but then things got even better, because Emily offered to buy us both drinks. <sighs> on my credit card. She came back with the drinks and we did that cute little arm link thingamajiggy. <laughs> it's so unbelievably awkward. <laughs> After turning the kettle off, we had some flirtatious banter and I showed Emily a new trick I've been working on. <laughs> After that, me and Emily went to Dakota's five-star restaurant. We ordered our food, had some water, followed by some delicious bread, and then the best steak I had ever had in my entire life. <laughs> Emily must have found something funny there, but yes, this steak was delicious. And after that, I'm not sure what I was more worried about. The sheer price of the meal? Or the question I was about to ask Emily upstairs in my bedroom. <laughs> wow. Don't ask about that. <laughs> if you had to review my hotel room in one word, Emily, what would it be? I'm going to give it a solid, like, nine. No, no, I said a word. Uh -huh. not a <laughs> um... Unreal. 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 Well, in the morning, that is oh what- Oh my god, you scared me! <laughs> what? Yeah, what? What? Why are you looking like there was someone there? 
Sorry, I was about to say tomorrow is when I'm going to leave my official one word review. Edward, do you want to come and join me in the bed? Not really, no. Come on. Hello. Hi. So this is it's a pretty nice room, right? Really nice. It's really nice. And I was just wondering if you'd maybe want to spend the night with me. <laughs> good one. It was so good to see you. Um, I'd like a chocolate cake to room 303, please. Please put some love in there. I've just been rejected. Thank you. Before long, my chocolate cake arrived. I also made myself a hot chocolate to attempt to drown the sorrows. The chocolate cake was good. The hot chocolate was hot. I don't know why I was surprised by that. Even though I was in a luxury five-star hotel, I just couldn't help but feeling sad about the whole rejection thing. It wasn't a fun time, it just wasn't. I assumed running a warm bath would help, but it just didn't. I then decided to watch a movie and did that help? No, it just didn't. I felt hopeless, devastated, absolutely traumatized like I was never gonna be a real man ever again. Yeah. 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 Daniel. There are plenty more fish in the sea and you're an incredibly attractive young man. True. Not to mention intelligent. True. Emily could never do better than you. True. Now get to bed if you have a video to finish your fall. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay, my friends, I only woke up like 10 minutes ago. By the way, I'm really sorry about the whole yesterday thing. I don't know what came over me. I was just a little sad about the rejection. But I have something that will cheer us both up. Good luck, Dan. Good luck, Dan. The man. The man. Enjoy. Enjoy. The quickest. The quickest. Hotel's fun. Hotel's fun. cost me $50. Investment well made as far as I'm concerned. Okay guys, my one word review to summarise this hotel is... Well, my friends, exciting times. We have reached the point where I am venturing out to my final quirky hotel. This one is not like the others at all because it took me six hours of travels on the train and then we had to get a driver to drive us two hours through the British countryside. So I've just been dropped off here. The driver just told me to walk through this footpath and apparently we will arrive at our quirky hotel. All right, I think I see it. Look at that. I'm already liking what I'm seeing. Wow. I got the key. Time to experience some quirky luxury. We got a TV, a fireplace. We have a beautiful rug. Oh, I love that. Oh, that material. Oh, it's so good. Oh, a beautiful kitchen with a fantastic view. And I'm assuming up the stairs is where my room is. To be honest, I'm pretty speechless so far. This is too nice for me. <gasps> oh my, wow, 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 wow. I have some really bad news. I tried to get some drone shots of the cabin and it would appear that I have lost my drone. I was inside the cabin flying the drone up here and it completely lost signal. So either I've hit a tree or it's been stolen by aliens. Basically, if there is no drone shots of this cabin for the rest of this video, then consider it lost. Okay, this place is amazing, like really cool. The name of this quirky hotel is called The Lodge and we are literally 30 miles away from any sort of human civilization. A bit of sad news, unfortunately the drone and all the footage is now lost. But here's what an artificial drone shot of a secluded place would look like. But looking on the bright side, my friends, the drone can be replaced. But what can't be replaced is an experience like this one. I still can't believe how peaceful and secluded this place is. I mean, people just can't believe how secluded and peaceful this place is. I've been here for like two hours now. I mean, there's not like an awful amount of stuff to do. Mm, well, I did find a rock to be fair and I threw it in the river for my male audience. I also managed to make myself my very first fire and it actually worked. I am genuinely still very proud of myself. I've never even been to Boy Scout and I created a fire this sexy. Like, come on. To be fair though, the fire didn't actually last too long. So if I was ever stranded in the 
wilderness, I probably wouldn't be lasting too long. But luckily I am not inside of the wilderness, I am inside here, my mansion of a log cabin. Well guys, there is literally no signal at all in this place, not even Wi-Fi. That might be why we lost the drone. I'm never going to stop talking about that. Well as of right now, I'm just going to sit back, relax and start editing this video for you guys. This last week of visiting all these quirky hotels has honestly been a blast. From dancing on the top of the boat to seeing some truly breathtaking views, from staying in a hotel that had a pool inside, from having delicious drinks to incredibly delicious food, from getting my heart broken uh, uh, by Emily. Her loss. Anyways, my one word review of this incredible place is secluded.